Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, sorry for the bad lighting. Um, I'm at my friend's house in Montana because I'm at a rugby tournament this weekend. And I am excited that I still get to post because I was worried I wasn't going to have internet. But I'm going to have internet. So it's actually Friday, but it'll be Saturday by the time I upload this. Um, so the topic this week is um, like sexuality slash identity and religion. I picked it and not I don't really have much to say personally about this because I'm not religious but I was really curious to see what other people would say because I know that um this is like a point of contention for a lot of my friends like they're they deal with this issue and I've been talking about it in one of my classes a lot because one of my teachers does a lot of research about um queer people and their religion so I more just wanted to get like other people to talk about that um I've never really been religious except for when I was a lot younger and didn't really understand so um, like coming out in a church setting or like dealing with religious values and being um, pan was never like an issue I had to deal with. But um, I have a guest star that is going to appear in a second and her name is Taya. And um, she is Lutheran. And um, so... I was sort of talking to her about this just a second ago and thinking that if I was religious and was having like a conflict with my sexuality and my religion that I would um, probably explore other faiths if the one that I was currently part of didn't accept my um, queerness, I should say, I guess. Um, so, and Taya it has a very accepting church community and I went to her church once when I was in Portland and so I was going to have her talk about, like, how they accept gay people, basically. So here's Taya. Taya. Hey, so I'm a friend of J-Bi. We met this year. Um, and I am... Sorry, Megan. <laughs> um, and I'm Lutheran. I grew up Lutheran. I've been Lutheran my whole life. My parents met at a Luther the same Lutheran church I go to now. And... Um, yeah, sexual orientation has never really been an issue with my um, denomination. Um, we're very accepting. We um, have Lutheran Church um, now ordains people who are in a homosexual relationship, which is which is pretty um, liberal for most for most <laughs> religious sects. But um, it's not really an issue. I feel like um, the Christian um, rejection of homosexuals is like. I feel like it's in the same category as religion telling people not to eat shellfish. Like it's in the Bible, but it's not really applicable in a modern um, in a modern day. So, yeah, I mean, I I thought I never thought it was really much of a problem. I I think it's fine. I mean, I just don't really see like people in homosexual relationships as anyone different. Like they're just, I mean, they're I just don't really see why it's an issue at all. But um. And I feel like lots of Christians get a bad rap because you hear about people saying awful things and that, you know, they're going against nature and all this bizarre stuff that's not right at all. And um, it's just, it's good to tell people that um, not all Christians believe that. And there's the extremists, and there's the moderates, and don't always pay attention to what the extremists say because they're usually not, you know, speaking for the majority. So... I don't know how much you want me to say. If you have any more questions, I can chime on I think in. That's good. That's good. All right, yeah. pass you off to Megan again. Yay! Okay, so if you're queer and your church doesn't accept you, you should move to Portland and join Taya's church. <laughs> um, okay, then the question is how to feel involved in the gay community um, in like another way besides participating in your GSA. Um, I was also talking to Tay about this a second ago, and she said, she was saying, like, just not being, like, a token gay or whatever, but just, like, maybe being out and just, like, living your normal life. Um, you, like, it will inform other people of, like, homosexuality and how it's not, like, this, like, stigma like everyone thinks it is, and also, like, I'm, you'll probably meet other people, um that can relate to you um and then we were thinking like going to um gay clubs like even if you're underage they have a lot of like 16 and up or 18 and up clubs um 
and so you can go there like if you're not super comfortable with like being out or whatever like you can just go there because straight people go to um and just sort of hang out and have a good time and just feel like you're part of something bigger I guess um and around people that you can relate to and what was the other thing you said besides going to clubs I was just doing like normal things in the community but I already said that I already said that one I don't remember I don't know we had one more oh drag shows yeah (laughs) the like if your school is putting on like um activities that are supportive of the queer community like my school did a drag show that i talked about last week um just going to things like that and um just supporting it i guess like people that are part of your community or allies to the community will probably show up at events like that so um you can go there so that's all for this week um uh, i'll upload this tomorrow morning and you'll watch it and my eyes look black right now I look really freaky. Ah. Okay. Um, have an awesome rest of the weekend, guys, and uh, see you next week.